After these messages, we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. Yeah, we're excited today. We're going to taste a couple Shen Puars. Uh, if you recall, a while ago we did a video on how to break a tough Puar, mm -hmm. and now we're going to taste the results. Let's dive into it. Okay, I'll start brewing. Excellent. So what we have here are the two shem. Well, it's one shem puar, and uh, as, as you remember from the video, uh, we steamed it so that it would loosen up and we could break it much more easily. And when we finished up that process, we dried the tea in two different ways. We did a pseudo sun dry because up here in Canada we couldn't put the tea outside or it would have frozen. But we put it in the sun and let it dry. And we also did an oven dry, which is just basically a, an electric dryer that applies a light, very light temperature. I don't want you to think of like roasting a chicken or anything and helps to dry the tea out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to taste those two and see if we can notice any difference. Yeah. Here I got the uh, leaf warmed up. Mm -hmm. let's, try, uh, let's try this one first. And you know which is which, right? <laughs> Ish. <laughs> All right, let's have a smell. Hmm. What's your thought? They're a little bit more different than I thought they would be, actually. Me too. Me too. I'm not sure which I would place mm. as which, but this one's a little bit more pungent. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought this one smelled like a... It's not a good description, but I feel like this one smelled like a little bit like a <laughs> ink. Like... I don't know, somehow I feel like it's those mm -hmm. ink, ink pot. Smell, ink pot. And like this the old one, fashioned one, right? Yeah. The... This one smells like a concentrated soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> like a soy sauce, like a old. I was going to say style. seaweed, so I think seaweed. there's some similarity oh. there. Like it's got that, that salty, briny element. So they, I think they kind of converge somewhat. Okay, give them a quick rinse while the water is still really hot. It's also worth noting that this one is a little bit more of like two discrete chunks, pretty right. tightly packed it would seem. Yes. The other one's a little bit looser, a little bit more leafy. Yes. So I think that, that definitely plays a part in how it like smells. Mm -hmm. There are different shapes quite. One is looser, one is more compact. Okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, okay. Do you want to line the same colored cups up and... Yeah, I'll do this one with the white and this one with... Perfect. Blue. And you can just do a no sharing pot infusion. Yeah, I forgot to grab the shaving pot. Yeah, yeah, Tom Cruise style. <laughs> Tom Cruise. White Cruise? No, from the uh, movie. I don't remember the name, but he was a bartender and did all kinds of fancy tricks when he pours. Top Gun? Nope. Takes a while, takes a while. Ooh. Different shapes. Mm -hmm. Color is getting nice and gold. The mm -hmm. right one. So, because uh, there are quite different shapes, and I actually brew this one first and this one second, but this is closer to ready based on the liquor color. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna just to get this one out here and uh, And give this one a little bit more mm -hmm. time. It was more dense. 
packed, yeah. more packed. Yeah, different parts of the cake of the uh, bread were uh, mm -hmm. broken. And I'll bring this over here so I'll get ready because mm -hmm. I'm kind of excited to try this. Have a smell though. Yeah, for sure. Which year was this? Can you remind me? I don't remember. I need to check. Oh, I drink some. Me too. Don't drink too much so we can compare the uh, liquor to color so they're about the same. <laughs> I wasn't going <laughs> to drink any, but when you started drinking, I couldn't wait anymore. I forgot. And I was like, oh, that looks so good. I'm trying some. <laughs> My and it's really good. My habit is to smell and, sip. and take a sip. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you sip that and I was like, oh, I'm not sipping mine. And then I gave in after a moment. Couldn't resist. Okay. I think this is about ready. Looking good. Yeah. Perfect. So based on the color we see here, they are about the same. Uh, yeah. Very similar. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Same. Uh, Good brewing job. How do you call that? Intense level? Yeah, same intensity. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So let's try the other one out. Okay. Mm. Well, well, a really nice tea. Mm -hmm. Good bite at the beginning, refreshing afterwards. Yeah. A little bit of sweet in the end. Lingering flavor still there. In terms of difference, yeah. Any I, for you? For me, the smell is really, really slightly. This one, the uh, this second one is a little bit, like really tiny, little bit. Not as strong as okay. This okay. Maybe strong is not the word. It's a compared in similar to how we smell. Point five to point eight kind of smell. Yeah, yeah. But you it's got a really similar. Aroma smell as you did right. off the dry leaf smell like the the loose one was a little bit stronger or something more like mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. you described it as soy sauce <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get um, I didn't get much difference at all if any uh, But a lovely tea like both sips to me were When I sip that there's no major mm -hmm. difference when mm -hmm. I taste it mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's probably not all that surprising. This is a really it's not really a processing step we're doing. We were just drying out the leaf after uh, steaming. Right? Yeah, and the whole time, uh, the whole the differences are so short. The one that right. we kind of uh, roasted or add a little heat to dry was like uh, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's really short, really, because how I steamed that, I didn't make the whole cake really wet. No, it anything. just loosens so, up. It doesn't yeah. get a, we Plus don't want to wet. Plus it's really dry inside in mm -hmm. the winter. Mm -hmm. So it was really quick. Even for the sun dry one, it's like uh, not even. A few hours, right? Tops. Yeah, how, yeah, something like a half day-ish. Yeah. Kind of because of how much sun we get there, it was yeah. totally so dry. So not, re not really much chance for anything to really happen. Right, And right. that's kind of good news, right? If you're going to loosen up your brick to enjoy it, you really don't want to have uh, too much impact on the flavor, if mm -hmm. preferably none, right? So I think it's good news. Yeah. That's a nice strong infusion. Yeah, I see that. Let this one sit a little bit more. And sure. And actually, you know what? I have the original cake. We, we saved oh. a little bit of original cake and yeah. I'm going to brew a little bit of those and see if that one compared to the yeah, two that's ones a great that idea. I broke, is there any difference? Yeah, let's okay. do that. Be mm -hmm. right back. So we're back with some uh, original shampoo. We got the original, so we're, it's going to be a three tea tasting. Right. Uh, one tea, three versions. Yeah. Yes. 
So this is the original brick unsteamed. We uh, saved a portion of it. Mm -hmm. It's really painful to break this thing. Yeah, we had to go back and break it for the first time in a while and I remember exactly why we steamed this one. Yeah. It's a little bit terrifying actually. You know, old times, the, uh, it's considered to use a better quality tea materials to use uh, to make brick and the lower ones to make a cake but now okay. there's no major difference basically ah. but brick is definitely tougher they're usually really dense and compact and the third to the fifth infusion are the better ones ah. compared to like the cake may not be as dense and we'll let this dense tea loosen up and render an infusion Mm -hmm. In the meantime, have a little sip. Got to save some for the comparison phase. We got to brew some more so the hot and hot can True. compare together. This yeah. is a little bit like... Tepid. Lukewarm. Mm -hmm. mm. What a nice tea. I just love Shen in the morning. I find it's a really great wake-me-up tea. It goes well with breakfast. If you have a big breakfast, I just love this tea. Let us know what you guys think of Shen Puar and when you like to drink it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just uh, brew, because we did like two infusions mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the uh, the breaked ones. Breaked ones? The loosened up ones, yeah. The, the loosened up ones. And uh, I'm going to do two infusions on this one then do a third infusion right. kind of together. Kind of get everything all caught up and right. in sync. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely looking forward to the side by side. Mm -hmm. What do you have here? I don't know if it's the infusion or um, just because this tea wasn't steamed, but I get it. I get a little bit of a softer touch than the other two. It's because it's lighter. It's very possible the infusion, it's right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's why I'm looking forward to the side by side when their things are going to be a little bit more equalized. Everything will be loosened up about the same degree. Yeah. Let us sit a little bit longer. So the color matches. I only use color to match this. This, yeah. uh, as you can see, this guy one size is slightly bigger. So I, uh, because we broke a little bit too much, I was like, I, I want to use that all. So I choose a bigger guy one and uh, trying to make, when I try to make everything quote unquote equal, equal. So I do just Check on the liquor color. Mm -hmm. This one might be a little bit better. It's getting a little bit darker. Yeah, it's getting towards the right color. Right. So this is infusion two. We're just working our way towards infusion three to get everything balanced. Mm-hmm. We forgot to smell the dry leaf. We still have the brick. We can go sniff the brick. What do you think? I think you might be right. I was going to say, I still have that... Softer touch. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. And these cups are a little different. And they keep the tea quite hot. I noticed that too. The other cups cool quicker. Mm. Not really related to the flavor. Just related to my comfort. <laughs> Tartar. Mm -hmm. I found the tartar. Fair enough. Yep. Mm. 
Oh, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're still going to do this side by side, so who knows? That's Maybe right, it's just. That's right. I'm just uh, going to quickly rinse our cups, especially mine. I don't know. You got lots of food in there. I don't like to drink tea leaves. Like, unless it's green tea or stuff, I would chew on that. As... But with the oolong and pour, I like to use filters, and when I don't use them, I don't drink the tea leaves too much. You like to keep the tea clean for those ones. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Chaotic time. What should I do? Dun, dun, dun. Perfect. Okay. Something like that. Do you think we should switch cups? But you switch, I mean, just maybe, change up the order. Yeah, which change up the order. Because I just rinse that with hot water. And Let's maybe, do it. Just to remove. Yeah, to see if it's really this hot cup would affect too much. or. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like yeah. that. Just to bring in a different element. And it won't change anything. We just rinse them all. So. Yeah. Getting there. Which one is which? I don't yeah, know. just do them in the order of the guy one. That'll be good. A little bit light. Not too light. It looks okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Good. Which one shall we start first? I don't know. I might start I'm in the middle. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna start with the with the original. original. Okay, okay. And then I'm gonna go to the other the other one that was steamed. These are the two steamed ones. This mm -hmm. is the original. And then I'm going to be bought back to the original. Wow, that's so interesting. This is so interesting. Like I know they they are the same tea, but if I just taste them, they like really uh, taste them. There are differences. I do feel. Mhm. Mm yeah, I definitely feel okay. there's a difference from the original, and even a small difference between those two. What's your thought? Mm. Let's try a little bit more. Mm. 
Okay, there's a lot of information here, so I'm not sure if I can get it all straight, but in a simple terms, from strongest to, I don't want to say lightest, but smoother to sort of stronger or harder would be the original is the smoothest, then this guy, and then, and then the middle one. Guy. There was some definite tartness differences too, but I'm not sure I can just tell you what they were off the top of my head, because there was a lot of information going there. And also, in a you know, we're a little bit, or at least for myself, I'm a little bit rushed on the camera. This is a this is a really nice tea, and the taste goes on for quite a while, but eventually I have to taste the next one. So that was a bit tricky too. It was a little bit rushed, but there's not much we can do about that. Mm -hmm. But side by side, more differences than I would have thought. Again, these guys are pretty close for me. How about you? I'm thinking how to put that in word. Like I agree with you. I feel like the uh, original one seems to be like softer, softer, right? Yes, it's softer. Like if I smell them or stuff, it's really not a major difference. Mm -hmm. But it's just the character seems to be and mm -hmm. less astringent. Mm hmm. Yep, that it's may be the strength element that I was trying to sort of coarsely right. describe. And it's not, what I feel is, uh, yes, maybe because how we did it, uh, how we did it, it was like, wasn't like 100% identical weight, water temperature, brewing mm -hmm. time, yes. everything. Like yes, it, of course. Even you do that, you will have one, get water first, or second, get the water yeah. a little bit later, and right? And they're different leaves. Yes, they're, and they're different leaves. I did do some adjustment for those, and uh, I think in terms of, is that just because this one is stronger brew because the leaf is looser, or the other one is more compact? I think it plays a role in it, but I can't explain that much why it has a character difference you know what i mean it's not a correlation <laughs> like this one is strong so this one is astringent this one is uh more aroma or more stuff well the uh i have to say the uh, original one it's softer it's less astringent but it has a little bit more tart mm -hmm. i i mm -hmm. find yeah, um, you know, I'm wondering as we talk here, is it's almost as if these guys backed up in time a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that's a, ah, a really fair thing to say because it's not so simple, mean. but I'm wondering about maybe redoing this whole experiment in another year and a half or two, mm. which is crazy, but maybe they'll reconverge. I don't know. I'm just throwing something out. Because... Mm. What you said reminds me of something that so two years ago when we were in Yunnan, we did a experimental batches, did experimental batches of teas. Mm -hmm. So using different methods, one is more modern way and others are considerably more traditional, which means like nowadays when they make even shampoo, they do quite amount of rolling that get the juice out. Right. So the good result is it's uh, more drinkable Similar, right away. Right, it's more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when we just finish the, the three, I remember we did three batches. When we just finish it, the one that was barely rolled and purely sun dried was the most awful tea because it was right. so strong, astringent, astringent mm -hmm. and it, everything unpleasant is there. While the other one were rolled, and they even, uh, yeah, we also did a little bit of heat dry, so the aroma is more present. So that, now I really wonder, like, how will that tea taste now? It's two years. Our plan was to taste that uh, 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 right at that moment when we finished the batch, and five years later, because in terms of the tea, especially with North storage, it doesn't really change that fast. Right. So we want to give it some time that we have a... Some real length of time. Exactly. Can... And one, what we're doing here is really minor, minor, minor detail. Oh, yeah. Right? In terms of the taste, it's not a big difference and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they're all very good. Mm. Very drinkable and tasty. And really similar. I would say 99% similar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
when when the original one gets a little bit stronger now as the infusions that's right uh, uh, develop but it still has that softer character mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. yes stronger but not as sharp mm. And not as stringent. Mm -hmm. That's I right. do find not as stringent. Yeah. Just, yeah. These twos are more like I can feel that uh, like a film on my tongue or something. Mm -hmm. This is the tartest. Middle one? Middle one. It's... Okay, I gotta explain why when Phil asked me um, you know which one is which of the tea, I was just uh, smiling because I think I know which one is which, but I'm not 100% sure. Because uh, somehow, I when I put them away, I didn't label it. <laughs> I put them in different jars. You know my habit is when it's uh, with the heat, I put that in a red jar. That's good, that's good. Uh, I think that's what I did. It's in a red jar. And the other one, which uh, was sun-dried, indoor sun dried i put that in a green jar so one is cool one is hot that's how i kind of tell them apart i don't know why i feel like that was sufficient but right when i was taking them out out of the jar i was like why I didn't label I, it i saw the look of doubt in your eye <laughs> so uh, that's what we did with the tastings and what do you think Will we do that? I think we would do that again, yeah. Especially yeah, based so. on how hard we got a chance to go back and revisit that brick and how <laughs> dense it is right. and how scary right. it is for me to break it. I'm always afraid I'm either going to cut mm. myself or slip and scrape and uh, scrape the table. So I think based on the flavor difference I experienced here, I would definitely go for it. It was Absolutely. really minor. It's really minor. Mm -hmm. And I also think what we did here doesn't conclude anything. Doesn't right. that mean this has it changed the brick or too much? I don't like to see like a, did you guys follow the video and uh, steam the tea or did you? Yeah, if you've tried this out, let us know how your result was. Right, right. And uh, do a little bit side by side. I think a bigger sample size and uh, with all the differences of the, you know, the, loo uh, the loose leaves or the compact leaves that also affect the taste. Right. So, yeah, I would... I would actually just combine them together and drink them. They're yeah, this is fundamentally the same tea. Really, if you don't pay much attention yeah. to what's happening, it really doesn't yeah, jump it, out. Yeah, and it's, it's too different. good to not finish. So we're going to continue sipping this tea. Yeah, yeah. And if you like this video, give it a thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe and right. like. Share it with your friends. And definitely leave us some comments and let us know where you're at with steaming your dark tea. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. So we're going to drink these up. Right. I really feel like they're so similar. We'll just throw them in a teapot. Mm -hmm. I'm That's hungry cool. again. Yeah, after this, shampoo for yeah. sure. And this is going to be pretty, oh, uh, cool. a lot of tea now that I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they different? Oh yeah. Hey, this one is a little, uh, this is the roasted one for sure. Mm -hmm. A little it's bit of more, licorice or something. The aroma is a little... Enticed. Mm. Uh, like enhanced. Yeah, this one is almost muted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta smell this one. This is similar, but this is in a teapot, it might be. Right. But this is similar like to the other one that is... Just Gonna be pop, popping with leaf. This oh, gonna, oh. That's gonna be fast infusions. Yeah. Put it all. Put it all. No put it all. What. Put it all. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Oh my god. Got it. This is like a five. I put a five something. Uh, five something. Five in the mini guy one. Seven in the big one. If I recall. Yeah. So seven. we've got. This uh, is like a almost 17. twenty grams. Yeah, seventeen grams. Oh my goodness. Ta-da. Oh wow, I can't wait to okay, taste that. Okay. That's boiling, so that's going to be okay. good. Rinse that a bit, because mm -hmm. I don't have time. This will be really... Nice, I'll just take care of doing a bit of hygiene yeah. on the guy once. <laughs> oh. 
coming right out. You want to pop this on? Thank you. I know you like that. Oh, the color seems okay. It's just a long, like, many brewing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, it wasn't the first, it's not like it's first infusion for any of it. It's like six infusions of each, right? Yeah. Five or six. Oh, it's intense. It's intense. I need steak or something really. Oh, we have beef this lunch. Yeah, we'll have a uh, tomato beef, right? Mm. Need something fat. Yeah, something to work with this tea. That was okay. Inside Fine. out. Inside out. No. Water goes in, water goes out. That's mm -hmm. the speed. Yeah, it's actually a little lighter than some of the infusions we tasted in the yeah, video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Nice. It has a little bit of the like sweet, not sweet, not sweet red bean paste. Mm. Unsweetened. 